Hello dear creatives, welcome to another interesting tutorial on this YouTube channel. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell to get notifications whenever we upload new videos on this YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful fabric flower headpiece and the materials we'll be needing are scuba fabric, we we'll also be needing Alice band and we may need to wrap the Alice band with either scuba fabric or crepe fabric. So these are my Alice band. This particular one is wrapped with scuba fabric and uh, the other one is wrapped with crepe fabric. So I've made a detailed tutorial in one of our previous videos on how to make, how to wrap Alice band with either crepe fabric or scuba fabric. And so I'm going to link the video in the description box so you go ahead and watch that particular video. And other materials to be needed for this tutorial are a machine color of thread and needle, USU gum, telos chalk, comb. You may want to use comb instead of Alice band. And we also be needing pinky chair scissors. I'll start off by taking measurements of the fabric using my telos chalk and measuring tape. And the measurement is 7.5 inches by 7.5 inches. The length is 7.5 inches and the width is 7.5 inches. I'm going to cut it out with my pinky chair scissors. And so after cutting to have that zigzag effect on the edges of the fabric, I'm just going to use my uh, pinky chair scissors to trim the edges of the fabric. And when I'm done with this particular fabric, I'm going to set this aside and cut out another piece of fabric that is measuring 6.5 inches by 6.5 inches. And that's exactly what I'm going what I'm doing right here on the screen. So this is 6.5 inches by 6.5 inches. After cutting out both fabric, I'm going to take one of the fabric and I'll fold into two equal half and I'll use my pinky chair scissors to notch the fabric here and uh, I'll also notch the other edge of the fabric this way. At this point, I'll take my needle and my thread and I'll be making a running stitches on the fabric from this point where I notch the fabric to the other uh, point where I also notch the fabric. After making the running stitches, I'm going to tie the thread and cut out the excess thread. Then after, I'll take the other fabric and repeat what I did on this fabric on the other fabric. At this point, I'm going to place the smaller fabric on the bigger fabric and uh, I'll be using my needle and my thread to secure both fabric together. Now I'm going to cut out a smaller piece of fabric to seal up this midpoint. Can you see? So after cutting out the fabric, I'm just going to place the fabric on here 
and uh, I'll use my needle and my thread to secure this or tack the fabric down to the main fabric or the bow I created with the uh, scuba fabric. As you can see on the screen, I'm about cutting out the excess fabric. So after cutting out the excess fabric, this is how the design looks like. Now I'll be attaching the design to Alice band that is covered with either scuba fabric or crepe fabric. Or alternatively, you may want to use your comb instead of um, Alice band. Okay, so you could just attach the comb to the uh, design and uh, use it as a piece or you get your alice band and cover your alice band with either crepe fabric or scuba fabric and so for this particular tutorial i'm using alice band that's covered with scuba fabric like i said earlier i've made a detailed tutorial on how to cover alice band with scuba fabric in one of our previous tutorial i'm going to link that video up in the description box below so you can go ahead and watch the video on how to cover alice band with scuba fabric If you have made it this far and you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, kindly smash the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. Also like, share and comment on our videos. Thanks so much for watching and see you in our next tutorial.